For the past 13 years, Anubha Bhosle has worked as a presenter for CNN News 18, a channel which according to her has now morphed into a government mouthpiece. Today, far from the TV sets, this journalist has launched her independent digital news platform. The morning meeting just did not focus on important news stories. We were not explaining, we were not trying to cover holistically, we were not covering large parts of this country and putting out work that was frankly speaking bad quality, that was polarizing. The markers were very, very clear to me. Uh, we were not focused on anything that felt even remotely in public interest. I think more than that, there was a complete decimation of what the newsroom is supposed to do. YouTube has become the last refuge for independent Indian journalists. Six years ago, Akash Banerjee was one of the first to join the platform. With four million subscribers, he offers daily analysis of the ruling Hindu nationalist government's policies. While the internet grants him a unique freedom of expression, it doesn't shield him from potential government backlash. Government is actually concerned about the growth of YouTubers in India uh, because for folks like us, lawyers and accountants are our first best friends because that's where you will get hit first. Either it's going to be your accounts, criminal defamation case or hurting religious sentiments. But if the system wants to get you, no one can save you. It's hard for dissenting voices to exist as the platform is flooded with pro-government media. The Narrative Research Lab examined 2,800 Indian media YouTube videos in 2024, revealing a consistent trend. India's political opposition is systematically discredited to benefit Narendra Modi's Hindu Nationalist Party. One video after another, they've built an audience. And today, some of them have up to, I think, 10 million followers. After years of watching a certain kind of television, uh, people have started to enjoy political positioning in a certain way. According to the reports published by Google, yeah. in 2023, the Indian government requested the removal of over 3,500 YouTube videos, citing defamation and criticism of the government. 